playgrounds, they're everywhere. They're a place where we can be free, be truly creative, and where time doesn't seem to matter. But what if there were a place that also made us want to change the world? Hi, I'm Annalie, and today I'm in Yak and Danda, and I'm going to be talking to designer Ben Gilbert, who wants his playgrounds to change the world. Ben, why do you design playgrounds? There's a big need for interesting playgrounds, and it's a meaningful work to do um, custom and unique playgrounds. It seems very re rewarding. Children want to belong to a place that's unique and special. It's not just about the physical activity of what they can do there. They like the sense of place and that being unique. What makes your playgrounds different to what's out there now? They're responding to the place um, and not just the people but the, the place in itself and possibly the history of the place and they make it from if possible, some reclaimed materials or ethically sourced materials, they end up just being crafted. They're made as like pieces of architecture rather than you know, punched out cookies. Where would you say you get your inspiration from? I don't believe inspiration is a very useful word. It's problem solving. An artist and someone is someone that asks questions. So if you ask weird enough questions and you still want to end up with a, with a result, um, that might appear to be inspired, but it's not. It's, it's a process. Of, problem solving. How do you go from having a concept to having a finished product? Uh, I'll do some rough sketches and then I will work in 3D so whether on a uh, on computer or with models and or you know, between the two move between the two depending on what problem it is. Tell me about your design for Mount Beauty. Um, that's quite close we can probably go there and have a play and tell you there. Yeah let's go. <laughs> Here we are at Mount Beauty at one of your playgrounds. Tell me, how did you get the idea for what we have behind us? Mount Beauty was built as a hydro town, so it's to make hydroelectricity from the mountains, so the water charges down the mountains. And you see these, uh, the white pipes, the, the water runs down. And you, as a kid, you always just want to go in the pipe as a giant slide. So made the drip, big drip at the top, like the lake, and then the slide. And here we've got the turbine, which makes the electricity. And there's the eddy, the splash over there as a climber. What's it like seeing the final product, seeing your sculptures being played on or used as in, in the community? It really is about the life of the thing. The, it, the underlying enthusiasm for doing it is to see it act, activated. Playgrounds can be beautiful objects that I can walk past when I'm 80 with my dog and go, oh, there's no way I'm going to go up that slide. But I like the idea, so the conceptual merit has meaning beyond just the people playing on it. And what advice would you give to anyone who wanted to start out sculpting or designing things? Back your own horse and be prepared to make a lot of mistakes. If you learn from the mistakes, then you're on the right way. Yeah! That was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs>